Hi everybody and welcome to this day's Daily Word of Encouragement. I'm Bill Hastings and as many of you already know, this is my beautiful wife Rhonda, aka Babe. And I just want to welcome you to today and what God is going to speak into all of our lives for the coming year. Babe, would you start us off? Absolutely. We're sharing from Isaiah 43, verses 18 through 19 today. Uh, I'm going to read the scripture for you from the New American Standard Translation. It says, Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Do you see what the Lord's saying first in verse 18? He's saying, you know, forgetting the former things and how important that is. And he goes so far as to say not to dwell on it. You know, dwelling is where we tend to live sometimes uh, our daily lives. We start bringing the past with us and carrying it around like baggage. And so he's really telling us, don't dwell on those things. The past is the past. 2020 is no more. We're looking at 2021 and what God's going to do. Babe, can you continue? You know, I love this passage for the new year because it's always emphasizing the new things that God is doing. And every year I come back to it to ponder it afresh and anew. And every year I learn something new. So as I was reading it um, this year, one of the things that just really leapt out at me is that, that the new thing that God is doing, it is already in the process of springing forth. He's, he's using the imagery of plants in the ground. And if you think about it, when you plant a seed, you don't see immediately the results of the growth of that seed. The, the new thing that God is doing is already in the process of happening. We just have to be aware of it and watching for it, like looking for a sprout to break through the ground so you know that that seed is responding to the food that it's getting. It says not only is this new thing happening, but, but it's something that if you are not careful, you'll miss it. It says right here, will you not be aware of it? If I'm not watching for it, if I'm looking in the past, I'm going to miss the new thing that God is doing right in front of me. The other thing that really left out at me is that this new thing is happening right where I am. In other words, God's not going to take me out of the wilderness. He's not going to take me out of the desert. He's going to come and meet me right in that place and right there in that troubled place, in that painful place, in that lonely place, right there. He is going to meet me and he's going to do a brand new thing, a greater thing. And my life will never be the same and your life will never be the same. This passage gives me so much hope. I hope it does for you as well. That word gives me not only hope, as it should for you, but it gives me anticipation to see what God's going to do for this year. Not only in my own life, because he has changed things and he's already starting to move, but in your life as well. But you've got to trust in him. You've got to trust in him for every day, sometimes even moment by moment. Well, thanks for joining us today. And, you know, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and that little uh, bell there. You can ring that bell. That'll give you notifications of future videos. And also, it would be a good idea if you would share with your family and your friends these videos and this time together. I think they'll be blessed as well. We're so grateful to have been with you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. God Happy, bless you. New, Happy year. New Year. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.